Now that we've covered the basics of setting up your canvas, we can get into the fun parts of bringing your experience to life. So to follow along with this lesson, go ahead and upload the build along experience to your account. As you can see in the final version, we've applied a few simple animations to give this piece a bit more character. The text fades in, the clouds slide across the screen, and the arrow bounces to encourage users to scroll down. Let's start by selecting the text box and opening the animation tab. You'll notice there are two different animation triggers available, one for on view, which is when the object becomes visible, and the other for on hide, which is when the object is hidden through an interaction. We'll cover the on hide portion in the next video. In the animation menu, there are three main categories of animations with a ton of customization options available. In this case, we're going to apply a simple fade in animation and change the direction to down. We can play around with the easing section when we get to the clouds, but for now, let's leave this on the default soft ease. In the delay and duration section, let's set the delay to one second and leave the duration at the default 0.8 seconds. As you can see in the preview, as we make any changes to these attributes, the preview will update automatically, which is a great way to see how your content is coming together. Next up, let's apply an animation to both of the clouds on the right-hand side of the screen. To create the effect of the clouds slowly sliding across the screen, we're going to apply a slide-in animation and change the direction to the right. To ensure the clouds move at a uniform speed, we can also turn off the easing option and increase the duration to about 60 seconds to slow the clouds down. The final object we want to animate is the arrow icon. A quick trick you can use is copying an animation from one object by right-clicking and then pasting that animation onto another. This gets us part way there. But let's add in a secondary animation of Bob. with a one second delay and a two second duration set to repeat. Giving the preview a quick refresh, you can see how even these subtle animations bring a whole new look and feel to the piece. In the following lesson, we'll explore how you can couple animations and interactions together to create even more unique effects.